This feels like a brand new project for Naughty Dog. It's probably the scariest thing I've ever done, was try to remake this game, because I'm remaking arguably one of the greatest games ever made. So is that everything you hoped for? What you're seeing is so much closer to the original, very expansive vision for what this game was going to be. When we were working on the first game, we hit our limit, right? We hit how much the PlayStation 3 could do as far as how dense the foliage could be, the kind of shadows we could have, the lighting models. And now it's like to have all of that really be up like two generations past when we first made that game is staggering. Like there's parts where like I just pause the game and like I can't believe what I'm playing. The facial animation is just way more believable. Like all the nuances, all the little subtle reactions, glances, glares, right? Like you get all of it in a way that you never got before. I was just playing the outskirts, so it's the part where you leave the quarantine zone, the safety of the military, and you go outside for the first time, and seeing Ellie's animation, how she's reacting with the rain, the 3D audio that the PS5 allows us, it really creates a much more immersive, and because of that, much more emotional experience. One of the things I absolutely love with the 3D audio in The Last of Us Part 1 is being able to hear an enemy before they sneak up on you. <laughs> Having that reaction of like hearing, turning, seeing, reacting, it just really heightens that sense of just being grounded. You are in this character, you are in this world. I get it. So we have haptics from the weather. So if you're walking in the rain, you're getting the, those pitter-patter of raindrops and thunder or snow. So it's what you're feeling on the stick as you're playing the game. Watch out! Playing as Joel with these hunters coming over like a wall and they're trying to like pin me and Ellie. And I'm feeling the haptics as I pull the trigger, feeling the haptics as I'm getting hit. I'm actually, as I talk about it now, I'm like excited to go back and like replay that sequence. I'm way more invested in ways that I I didn't think I could feel. Sometimes I lose myself, and I've played it before, hundreds of times, but it's like, a, it's a reliving of that experience, which is incredible. Who's there? So we're adding a, a bunch of features, and then we hope when the player plays it, they don't think about any of them, that you're just in this visceral, intense experience. And those are the moments in all art forms you live for, that connection with a character that's real and deep, I'm in there with them, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm captivated by it. It's the high tension moments, it's the low tension moments, it's all of it feeling grounded, feeling lost in the story and going along the journey of these characters. And I'm envious of people that get to play it for the first time because they get to experience like the ultimate version of the story in this game and Joel and Ellie's journey.